So I'm just doing a quick follow up to the video I made about the equatorial mounts because it seems there are still a lot of people who have missed the point completely. It's just quite simple. The polar axis of each telescope on a flat surface is aligned differently. Even though these telescopes are actually configured and set up for their respective locations for Sydney at South 34 latitude and Los Angeles at North 34 latitude. So this is the polar axis on the right telescope. This is the polar axis on the left telescope. They are not aligned. Now the point is that in reality when these telescopes are set up at their respective locations those axes will be aligned and I'm just going to demonstrate how that occurs and for the demonstration I had my uh, youngest daughter produce these little telescopes because debunking the flat earth is uh, fun for the whole family but anyway as you can see those two small telescopes match the same angle as the ones in my video so let's have a look at how they work on the globe so to help you understand this clearly I've now put both telescopes just over the equator on this globe. Now I've got the globe lying down so that the axis of rotation is horizontal in the video. Okay, It's level with the top of the laptop. Now as you can see when both telescopes are at the same location on the Earth they still have that discrepancy in the angle and it wouldn't matter where we had them on the Earth we could put them in any location if they are co-located they're going to have that angular discrepancy. Remember, because they are set up for specifically Sydney, Australia and Los Angeles, California. The only way they're going to be aligned correctly is when we place one at Sydney and the other one at Los Angeles, California or anywhere at 34 north latitude. It really doesn't matter. It's the latitude that's important, not so much the longitude. So let me just show you why these equatorial mounts actually do confirm that the Earth is not flat. So the way to visualize this correctly is when we move the telescope configured for Sydney, Australia down to 34 south latitude and the other one to 34 north latitude, you can see that the axes of the telescope, the polar axes, are now aligned. And that means they're going to work because they're aligned with the rotational axis of the Earth. 